What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about Silent Hill, because currently there are rumors going around that Konami, the absolute worst gaming company in the world, is not only making one new Silent Hill game, but possibly two brand new Silent Hill games, and we might even see them this year. Now let's just throw this out there, Konami downright sucks. They have no idea what they're doing when it comes to game design. I mean, just look at some of their recent projects like Metal Gear Survive a game that's trying to take place in the Metal Gear Solid universe, but is all about stabbing zombies with sticks. It is a terrible game, but more than that, look at just the fact that they've been turning some of their most famous franchises, like even Silent Hill itself, into a series of pachinko machines, basically saying that fans might as well play a slot machine instead of an actual game. As soon as I hear the words, they're making another Silent Hill, it's very difficult to actually get myself excited and hyped. I grew up with Silent Hill. These games are tremendously influential to me, but this Konami, this name on the box is now a totally different team. But let's read the rumor, let's maybe try and be open-minded about this. So this is actually being reported currently over on Eurogamer, who absolutely rocks. Eurogamer is really, really good. And their source on this one is actually a leaker who's gotten a bunch of stuff dead accurate in the past. All right, let's read this. Konami is reportedly reviving the Silent Hill series with not one, but two new installments. According to Twitter, Aesthetic Gamer, who has accurately shared Capcom leaks in the past, publisher Konami has reached out to developers a couple years ago, inviting pitch ideas to bring the series to life once more. One game is thought to be a soft reboot of the franchise, while the other is rumored to be an episodic adventure similar to Until Dawn. All right, let's just take a second there and try and digest this first part. I gotta say, the idea of a reboot is definitely what Silent Hill needs the most. So, if you tried to play any of the more recent Silent Hill games, they're pretty bad. There was like a Dungeon Crawler one on the PlayStation Vita. There's been a lot of stuff that just wasn't exactly well polished, like Silent Hill Downpour. I think that Silent Hill is really sunken into this weird spot where it doesn't know how to scare us, it doesn't know how to be interesting, and it doesn't really know how to try and do those psychological frights that made the franchise famous. Now the other half of this, the idea of an episodic horror game some things have done this in the past, like Siren. I think that some games really have managed to be spooky in bite-sized chunks, but it does make me nervous. Alright, so let's read the rest of this. In other news, while I'm dropping this stuff, I think I can talk about this. I'll mention that there's a couple new Silent Hill games in the works, Aesthetic Gamer stated. Konami, about two years ago, reached out to various developers to pitch ideas for two Silent Hill games. One a soft reboot of the franchise, and the other episodic Telltale Intel Dawn style game to go alongside the reboot. I don't know anything more than that though, but I'm sure I sure do hope Konami's given it the appropriate budget and found the right developer to make these games succeed. This is just a guess, but I'd say there's a high chance that one or both of these titles may be revealed this year, but we'll see. I don't actually know their plans or anything about these games other than their existence. I do know, uh, I don't know how much their inner workings of Konami. Horror specialist Rely on Horror also reports that it's heard from its own independent source that a Silent Hill project is in development. Now that's just, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm still just so stuck. I really wish I could try and be excited because the idea of Silent Hill coming back is undeniably freaking massive news. In my opinion, the three freaking great franchises that forever will live in infamy when it comes to survival horror is, of course, Silent Hill, I definitely think Dead Rising is up there, and Resident Evil. I feel like each of these are games that manage to be spooky and giant and really kind of stick with you. I, I think... 
This is a really good sign, and honestly, I feel like the desperation of Konami may work in our favor. I mean, let's just face it, Metal Gear Survive bombed. I mean, that thing sold like 25 copies. People are not at all going to be picking that up again, which means that financially, it was a massive flop. When a game sells bad, you need your next one to be a bigger financial pool, right? You need a good game to try and pay off the bad games. More than anything, when I hear this rumor, the thing I really wish we knew is which studios are being approached, which game developers are possibly pitching their projects, because then we might have some sort of inkling as to the style of this. I think the Silent Hills that are definitely the better ones, in my opinion, are the ones that were very Japanese, the ones when they were still being based and developed over in Japan. I'm a pretty big lover of Silent Hill Homecoming, but let's face it, the American focus of it, the the fact that it had so many more guns and a militaristic style hero, I just don't think it managed to be as frightening. I, I guess what I'm hoping is, I hope that this soft reboot manages to be different. I don't just want to see Pyramid Head again. I don't just want to see the nurses coming back. I don't just want to hear those creepy sirens in the streets of Silent Hill. I want something different based in the city that we already know and love. But I guess we're going to see. Hopefully this does actually come out relatively soon. It'd be nice if we actually got a glimpse of this in the next couple of months. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. What do you think? Are you like me and just completely skeptical of Konami and just want to say F Konami forever? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Here's a fun fact, one of my biggest video ever, I think my most viewed video of all time has like 700,000 views, it's a video I wrote about Pyramid Head I think six or seven years ago. It's so funny to think about now that I wrote that video on a napkin and here we are. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.